Now your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, well, we've got an update. Uh, just since I got in this morning, the National Hurricane Center uh, took a look at this uh, disturbance over towards Tampa and said, hey, this is a tropical depression. It's tropical depression number six. Some heavy rain, some gusty winds. It's going to move northeast after it moves and affects Florida. There's another weak disturbance over there in the, in the central Atlantic, but uh, that one, very low chance of formation. So this one is expected to cross Florida and then move off to the northeast. Now, it's most likely going to stay offshore. We've got a big area of high pressure around here, so it would likely stay to our south. What it probably would do, though, is give us uh, more waves, more high threats for rip currents as we get into, uh, I want to say, later this week. So stay tuned for updates. Right now, I'm not too concerned about it, but we'll definitely watch it. Again, we've got this giant area of high pressure around, so it would likely stay to the south of that. And this is anchored in for the next few days. So uh, again, that's another reason I'm not too concerned about that one feature. We do have a cool northeast breeze today. We've got some nice weather locally. Temperatures, low 80s today. We'll start warming things up <laughs> me, uh, through the week. Upper 80s. We'll get back to 90 on Thursday, some 80s on Friday. But uh, bottom line is we get some nice weather out there for the next few days. And the average high is 87. We're going to be close to that for a number of days. Humidity is down too. Dew points are in the 50s. This is very comfortable. Yeah, we got some more humidity down towards Hatteras, but it's because you're close to the water. So we've got uh, dew points in the 50s and it's dry. And there's a lot of sunshine out there coming up. So 58 in Newport News, 70 in Norfolk. You're closer to the water, but you got 52 in Portsmouth Inland, 61 in Virginia Beach. By the way, we're at 70 in downtown Portsmouth, 56 Chesapeake, 58 in Suffolk. Some inland spots are cool for this time of year. That is very cool. 60 degrees in Hampton. Now, future track forecast. This is easy. We got a lot of sunshine out there. So we'll start it off. Lots of sun this morning. There's noontime, 3 p.m. 6 p.m., yeah, sunshine or mostly sunny skies. Again, nice weather. Going to the overnight, we're going to see mostly clear, clear skies. And then tomorrow, we'll start off with a lot of sunshine. I think we'll get a little bit more cloud cover second part of the day. I'm not expecting any rain, but I do think a little bit more clouds towards the afternoon. So today, lots of sunshine, 82 in Nags Head, 83 in Elizabeth City, 85 in Edenton. Again, these numbers are great, especially with the low humidity. 81 Virginia Beach, 83 in Norfolk, 84 Portsmouth, low to mid 80s, Chesapeake, Suffolk, Franklin, lots of sunshine. You've got 81 in Pocosin and Hampton, 82 Newport News, 85 Williamsburg. They'll be the warm spot today, but still not bad. 81 in Melpha, 80 in Cape Charles, 82 in Gloucester. We started with lows around the 80s uh, just last week. Now, there's one problem. We've got the high risk for rip currents out there. Be careful, swimmers. Surfers, it's great, but swimmers, just beware. Waves two to four feet, and the uh, seas are four to five feet. Small craft advisories on the bay. The tides aren't as high as they were over the weekend. They might be some nuisance tidal flooding, but that's it. Highs in the upper 80s Tuesday, Wednesday. Lots of sunshine. Back to 90 on Thursday. And then a few showers will show up uh, by late Friday and then on into Saturday.